Do you ever walk into a grocery store and realize you have no idea where your food is coming from? From GMOs to pesticides, today healthy food is hard to come by. But what if you could grow your own food year-round, no matter where you live? Hi, right, what's up guys? Today is Monday morning. We just finished a big meeting and it's greenhouse week. So we're getting all kinds of things together and once again, we're out on a tire run. So this time we're a bit more organized. We got our list here. We're going to be getting 235, 225, all the way down to 195 size tires. So we're going to be a little bit more organized. We're going to know exactly how many we're going to get. And we're not going to get more than we need. I'm expecting to get 220 tires by the end of the day. Update status. Valhalla can use your used tires. Sent. So we had to uh, rent another U-Haul. Now we are very skilled at uh, the um, practice of U-Hauling for tires. We're basically going to fill the whole box with tires. That's, that's the plan. <laughs> one more tire. Wow, one more. Uh, I don't know where to launch it. Yeah! Give me that check on that list. <laughs> so you guys have anything to say about the first tire? <laughs> Thank you for your input. <laughs> it's the first tire, guys. Come on. This is the first tire that has been laid for the Earthship inspired greenhouse. I just want us to think about happy thoughts and to send as much love to this tire as we can for the next few seconds. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, do do. Do. Yeah. It's probably the tire that received the most love ever. <laughs> <laughs> Tires, pound, 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 and tires, pound, 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 and tires. Pousser par là, ok? On va faire piloter comme ça. This way? Yeah, exactly. Un, deux, trois. So don't let a cloudy day. <laughs> so don't let a rainy day get in your way. Take this as an opportunity to reevaluate the work that you've already done and get ready for the next sunny day. It's a taste of freshly picked tomatoes. Look at this. Whoa, look at this here. <laughs> tomatoes everywhere. Fucking right. Yeah, if you want to harvest some of those. Uh, hey. Here, use my t-shirt to bring them. Mm. So we're here at Valhalla and lunchtime is over. We're getting back to work. Now a lot of people have come to Valhalla and decided to lend a hand and show us their expertise. One for example is my man over here, Michel. He was an expertise in John Deere tractors and we had a dead battery. Well, he fixed it. We have a whole swarm of what they would call a dirt bitch. And without them, we would have never been able to fill in the trench in the back this fast. There was an exposed pipe, and in a matter of minutes, it was covered and filled with clay. So when you have this amount of people helping you, it's very easy to get stuff done. And now we're moving on to the fourth row of tires. So I feel like we accomplished a lot. I mean, we're only building a 10 by 20 greenhouse, and it's only the first building we're building here at Bahala, and it took a lot of time, but that's kind of the point. So many people were telling us, no, 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 it's not gonna happen, it's not possible. It's gonna take you years before you're able to use tires and construction and stuff. And, well, I kind of beg to differ. You're tired, but we still can party. Sunshine, tires and tomatoes and earth ships and... Everything that comes together when you're tire partying. So the fun continues here at the tire party. It's day two. 
And with this many people, it is no doubt that by the end of today, we will have that tire foundation up and complete. Sunshine, tomatoes, and then tire potting with friends and a doop up doop up dee dee doop da boop up boopity da. <laughs> Man, we're on the last row. It's been a good day and a half of work, and we're cruising along. You feel like you've learned a lot about Earthships and how they come together in getting hands-on work here at Val? Definitely. A few people and I were having a conversation yesterday. You know, you can watch a million videos about how to do something, but until you're actually out here doing it, there's so many little nuances and tricks that you learn how to, you know, pack it in there before you have the thing full of dirt and just a bunch of different tricks actually laying in the uh, ventilation hoses and how you fill in with blocks and put in the cement. I didn't even know you do the cement on the corners. Sunshine, tires and tomatoes and earth ships and... Everything that comes together when you're tired partying. Well, the party's over, but luckily for us, the circus is in town. We finished seven rows of tires in just two days and finished the whole entire foundation. Couldn't have done it without the help of all you who came to the tire party. Welcome back. Today, we're putting the final touches on the tire foundation and about to put up the wood structure. And this is a perfect opportunity to introduce you to Curtis. My man Kurt here will be the one filming the entire how to build an Earthship inspired greenhouse tutorial video. You'll have all of the information, so all of the plans to build it itself and you'll have different options like 10 by 20, 15 by 30, as well as all the principles so that if you choose to design your own, you'll know exactly what to think about when you want to design it. Punish me up, punish me up, Sandra, Sandra Fred. Beautiful, awesome so far. It's a lot bigger than when it's just the tires. Yeah, much bigger than I expected it would be. I'm actually happy about that. It's uh, it's beautiful. I couldn't have asked for more. It uh, it really looks like like something you can put a lot of vegetation in, and to think that we're going to be growing vegetables throughout the winter is it's phenomenal. It's like a, a dream to that will finally come true. I remember the first few stages of Kickstarter was to just work and be super disciplined in our work and focused. And finally, when we, when we raised that first $1,000, I actually felt like I had the space and time for celebration. So guys, we're over $1,000. How do you feel? Uh, Great! Oh! It feels wonderful! I was shocked at how well it was received. I was shocked at how much money we could raise in such a short period of time for such a small project. I was really confident that we are going to reach 100% funding, but I was extremely shocked that we got $1,000 in four hours. I mean, a tenth of the funding in a fraction of a day. And then after 10 days, we actually had, had made our goal, and I remember I was flipping shit. Did we do it? Did we do it? It was one of the, the proudest moments uh, of my life. Hello! Here we are at the Earthship Greenhouse of Valhalla. We've got uh, an Earthship house full of volunteers and we are cobbing away. This thing's going to be done in no time. You can get really fancy with it. You can do backhanders. You can do around the back. And you can even go... Oh! You can do two hands if you want to get really fancy. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, don't tell anyone I did that. <laughs> you might ask, what's the benefit of throwing and slinging mud on the wall? And the reason for that is because the manufacturing of concrete produces 9% of all the CO2 emissions on the planet. So now we're out here with all the name tags that we made. Just put this last one on here, made it from the sumac tree. We split it, we sawed it, and we drilled it. And now we have Chester B. Arthur tree. And it's all thanks to you. Thanks to your generous donations, we were able to start the beginning stages of our food forest. We didn't just go for fruit trees. We went nuts. This is an almond tree. Heart nut, chestnut, ginkgo, and pecans. I'm sitting next to a fig tree, and this just goes to show how much diversity 
we were able to bring back into the garden. And imagine if all gardens in Quebec were like this. And we wouldn't be able to do this again without your help. So really, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And it couldn't have been possible without the help of all these great, super friendly and awesome volunteers. <laughs> <laughs>